A 700-year-old effigy is being brought to life by new technology, allowing the public to see what it looked like when it was first unveiled. It's a carving of the 13th century Archibald Bishop of Murray, who was buried at Elgin Cathedral in 1298. Emma Murray reports. It was known as the Lantern of the North. Elgin Cathedral now stands as a ruin, but in its heyday it would have been a spectacular building filled with stained glass. An exhibition in the town is now trying to restore some of its former glory. Over 100 medieval carved stones are going on public display for the first time in 20 years. At the centre of the exhibit, an effigy of one of the church's most important bishops. Awash with colour as he would have been 700 years ago. Elgin Cathedral was commissioned by the bishops of Murray, some of the most powerful people in medieval Scotland. After a fire tore through the area in 1270, Bishop Archibald set about enhancing and enlarging his church, even building a tomb into the wall here, close to the high altar. And it was here that he was laid to rest in 1298, with a brightly painted effigy on top of his tomb. After the Reformation, the cathedral fell into a state of disrepair, and the effigy and stones were in dire need of restoration. Specialists discovered tiny traces of paint on the figure, and now LED lighting is being used to breathe new life into the medieval relic. We did research, extensive research, and that discovered the various colourings, and we've managed to recreate those colourings in digital light, and that creates the look uh, it would have been in its original uh, uh, day. The project cost £300,000 with experts and agencies from Elgin and Edinburgh working together. It's an immersive exhibition aiming to tell the story of the cathedral and the people who built and used it, with Bishop Archibald at its heart once again. Emma Murray, STV News, Elgin.